It was fun. I had a good time being Terminator again and uh, uh, doing uh, you know the role kind of a little bit differently than uh, the other ones, but to play kind of like uh, multiple characters, to play one Terminator that is uh, still the destructive machine and uh, that is really out to destroy the human race and to protect the machines. And then there's the other one, which is also a T-800 model that is there to protect Sarah Connor and to protect the human race. So that is, of course, the big conflict there between the two. And that creates then this big epic battle. The writers have explained it best by just saying that they're not trying to um, eliminate uh, of what has done, uh, been done in the past. It's just basically keeping everything intact, but then adding on and uh, showing another scenario. Here's what happens uh, in 1984. Terminator comes back to find Sarah Connor, but as he collects his clothes from those punks, there's, another, there's a voice behind him that says he won't need the clothes. And uh, from that point on, hell breaks loose because the other Terminator all of a sudden is there and then they have this huge battle. So uh, they, it then goes into a different direction where uh, the time travel is different, the, 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 the various different timelines are different. Um, so it's really very sm uh, smartly crafted and people are really surprised. And even James Cameron said that if, I would have done, if he would have done another Terminator, that's the direction he would have gone. It's a really interesting thing that what they did with Terminator, with the Genesis, because they have used all of the real action as much as you can. So that was the order stunts were done. We were flying through the air and uh, we were suspended on harnesses. We were taken uh, you know, off the ramps and they, they exploding out into the air and flying through the air and, and landing and, and you know, jumping off the helicopter. And all of this stuff was real stuff. And then also with stunt people that uh, when it got really dangerous, stunt people jumped in and, and did some of the work. But then because of the technology that is available, they then added the technology, the CGI, and then made the storytelling much more complete. So it's a combination of the ultimate of technology and also using the old fashioned way. Like remember the, the for instance, the, the, the bus flipping through the air. Well, you know, I've never ever seen a huge bus flip that high through the air, but it was done with the ramps, with explosive, explosives, with cables and with all kinds of means to get that bus flying through the air and twisting in air and then crashing down and sliding. And it was basically not done on a Golden Gate Bridge the way it is in the film, but it was done on a regular street that was created specifically uh, in Louisiana, in uh, New Orleans, uh, right near the studio where we filmed. And they prepped this whole thing and they created exactly the same amount of lanes and they created you know, the cars that usually at any given time during the day are on that Golden Gate Bridge. And then they created this mayhem and they were with, the bus, with the bus flying and going through this, the chase scene and all this stuff. And what effect then the Terminator the T-1500 has on this bus. Well, it was interesting uh, for me to fight myself because um, they were very smartly um, hiring a bodybuilder uh, that was kind of a Mr. Universe physique he had and uh, also stuntman. So he was really good with the fight scenes and he was, uh, you know, had the body that 20, 30 years ago he wouldn't have found but now there's a lot of stunt guys and a lot of people that have bodies like that because they've trained really hard and the technology is available with the machines and the training and all this. And this guy was a competitive bodybuilder and so he was doing this fight scene with me and uh, the idea was that there was me from 1984 and so to me the whole time was always the question of how are they going to do the face replacement, how did they do the head replacement, how did they do the changing of the body, because he has the Mr. Universe physique, but it wasn't exactly the same body I have, because everybody is different. So, you know, so they did with technology again, a really great job in, in, in uh, making it all possible. Besides the great fight scenes and the battles, the futuristic war and the chase scenes and all that stuff, to me, the, the story itself, and the emotional roller coaster ride 
I think is going to be the most powerful thing in a movie.